Oh, let's be positive, mate. Come on. Put that aside, Gunny, and all the snow around your house. Bring some happiness. That's what I want. Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. Just stop right there. No negativity. None. Let's be, be positive. positive. LBP. LBP. Let's be positive. Well, he was bedridden yesterday with man flu or the runs or something like that. Welcome back, Gunny. I want to talk about man Lee. I want to talk the All Blacks getting a... $5,000 gift watch after losing to Ireland. I want to talk about the dogs ahead of the Warriors. But first and foremost, obviously, you have been treading a light carpet after the comments about the community board meeting. Yeah, no, I've been very sensitive and very gentle in that area, Martin. I've, un- <laughs> I've only written and said positive things since then. <laughs> and, I'm, I'm, and, and, and apparently, I'm welcome back next time <laughs> at this point. So all what? going well. My mum heard. Oh. My mum saw it on Facebook too last week. You know what she said? Right. Well done about what you said about Nick Kyrgios. Couldn't agree more, said mum. I can't even remember what I said about <laughs> Kyrgios, but she said it was well said. <laughs> Look, just... We're going global, Mark. We're going global. Let's be positive. The Manly 7 and now down to 4, Matt, 3 have already flipped. Yeah, well, what are they saying and what do they actually stand for, Martin? Can I read you a little poem? Go on. Can I read you a little poem? I've got a little poem here. Yeah, please do. It's called They Say. And this is what it is. It came to me from a 13-year-old girl last year. They say, if you're bisexual, you're confused. If you're gay, it's a sin. If you're skinny, you're on drugs. If you're fat, you look nasty. If you're dressed up, you're conceited. If you're dressed for comfort, you're a slob. If you speak your mind, you're too eccentric. If you don't say anything at all, you're too introverted. If you're sweet to strangers, you're fake. If you cry, you're a drama queen. Nowadays, you can't do anything without being labelled. We seem to live in a society where people can't survive unless they are judging others. Be proud of who you are and let others be proud of themselves. My daughter wrote that last year before she told her mother and I that she was a part of the Rainbow community, Martin. And one of those things that comes up on a daily, a weekly, a monthly basis is other people telling that community that they do not deserve the respect that culture or religion or race deserves. And as far as I'm concerned, I couldn't care what those blokes do. Yeah, good call. I'm trying to help my daughter navigate her way through the world. And when we see stories like this... It's very, very difficult for these young people to work out whether or not they have any importance to society. We watch the Formula One show on Netflix, Drive to Survive, yep. and they have a rainbow, a rainbow sticker on those halos, and I'll tell you what that means to these kids, yeah, these man, young people. Know, man. It means everything. Yeah, it does. Yeah? yeah? So I don't know what these people are trying to uh, say, yeah, cool, bro. and if they've turned on their own thoughts and their own religion and their own cultural beliefs, what were they worth in the first place? And was his story even worth running? That's all I've got to say on that one. I had had an absolute go at FIFA uh, through the NBR column um, and and on the show as well for the comments from the Qatari football minister who was saying, you know, take those politics and take them to a place where, you know, they're going to be accepted. And I just thought, you know, and I remember you uh, talking to you about this at the time, mate, and just in case anyone didn't hear it, that FIFA made a gesture and said, stuff you people, you know, if you want to live in that world with those beliefs, play, play a little World Cup amongst the other countries that think like that. The rest of the world were actually a different place to live. If they did that, what a gesture that would be. And so to hear you say that, I keep forgetting that. I'm sorry, mate. I keep forgetting that. And and to hear you say it like that, it personalises it and it means absolutely everything. So uh, congratulations, yeah, well, Mackenzie. You it's know, a beautiful I don't, poem, I don't, I don't really even is. know if I've done the right thing bringing uh, it up. No, no, but no, no, I know no, there's, fair, there's, two, there's two things. There's two things. The first one is, mm-hmm. is she's proud of it. No, well, I'm proud they of her too, mate. Tell her, we're proud of her too. Kids. We're proud of her too, Matt. Like yeah, you no, we're 100% mate. proud of her. Yeah. And, you know, to have a child come to you and cry on your arms because you've accepted them, it's because of things like this they yeah. read. Yeah, exactly. Mate. Yeah, no, I'm with and that. And there's right. thousands of other fathers out there like me yeah. who are just trying to help their kids navigate through life, and this kind of makes me sick. These guys in a massively privileged position are basically a bunch of hypocrites. Yeah, they are. They're sponsored That's by right. a betting agency, yep. which causes much harm. Their, their, their home ground is sponsored by an alcohol brewing company, right. which also causes much harm. And yet this is something that they need to take a stand on and then turn on themselves and decide they'll play. It makes me sick, Martin, actually. <laughs> Let us be positive then, at least amongst you know all the dismay and despair about the All Blacks that New Zealand rugby has gone and given them all a $5,000 new gold watch. I'm hoping that engraved on the back of it is 
This is to remind you what losers you are historically blowing a series against Ireland. Matt, can you honestly believe the timing of this? New Zealand rugby, the, the only review that needs to be done is into the CEO and how this guy runs the joint because it's no wonder that the players have are lost on the field, that the fans are in the stands are looking at it going, what the hell is going on? You've got drunk all blacks trying to cause fights in the street after a game and now they get rewarded with a gold watch. For God's sake, mate. Yeah, big smile. A big smile, a gold watch. Um, good luck, guys. We're proud of you. Look, there's a lot of people who say it's a sponsorship deal. Yes, it is. Well, put it but in you and the I both timing know, of it is We've read more PR yes. releases than most people ever will, Absolutely. and timing is everything. everything. There is no such thing as all publicity is positive. No. This just seems to be a slap in the face that people who pay their 120 bucks or 200 or 300 bucks for a ticket, they go along, they're disappointed, they're let down, the players get drunk and have a fight with Justin Marshall in the street, and then they give them a watch and say it's all about sponsorship all about, yeah. and our value as a team. Mm -hmm. Where is the value as a team right now? Well, they don't have well, a value, mate, because the they're fourth That's where in their the world. Value is. Well, they're not fourth in the world because I actually think they're fifth in the world, to be honest. I think South Africa, I think England, I think France, and, and well, no, Ireland are ahead of us. Those four are ahead of us. I think we're fifth. But anyway, again, you know, you're actually, I mean, if the timing is everything. And, you know, I know there are people who will be listening going, oh, you go, what are you going on about? What we're going on about is the perception. And the perception is this all-black side don't give a stuff, mate. These guys, Matt, are earning their millions off the back of 100 years of all-black rugby. You know, we got players, Rico Iwani is the one that I'm, I'm most hot on at the moment. The All Blacks lose, and he posts Instagram photos of him scoring a try. Can you imagine if that was, you're playing for Liverpool under Klopp, you lose 3-2, and the guy that scores the two goals posts Instagram shots of him celebrating his goals. What do you think the manager would do? He'd come down and he'd well, slap you hard, mate, is what he would. Try. It it's a, a worthless, worthless try. It's a worthless try, mate. Loss. Exactly. Where the it hell were you when they were scoring theirs, mate? You know? But this well, is the attitude of this, week, a lot of this, this group of players. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. You can bring Jason Ryan and bring whoever. And what I'd like to bring is, is a few fans sitting there and telling them actually about life is what I'd like to. And they would just look at you and just go, I don't care, is what they would. That's, that's the attitude, yeah, well, and that that's, that's what we're seeing. Case too. It would be, mate. I think that's probably the case, too. They, would. they don't they give a stuff, them mate. up from kids. Yep. They, they, they signal as kids that they're going to be superstars, and they treat them that way the whole way through. And what they, re they, what they don't realise is that a little bit of humility and a little bit of realness is actually what the fans want to see. So, we want to know that they're contrite because they lost. We want to know they're hurting like know. we are, mate, exactly. Oh, we want to know, on your face, yeah, Isn't and you, that what we want? Isn't is that, that all we ask? Isn't that, if they ask us to come along, if they ask us to support, if they ask us to fund and pay and show up in the cold and have to pay for our own physios and actually have to work our guts out and walk through 25 centimetres of snow a day just to get to work, we just want to know that it actually means a little bit more than a gold watch and we scored a try on the day. Yeah. I, I, honestly, Martin, I'm not sure. Look, that's why this All Black side is not going to dig itself out of this hole, mate. Everything. That's it's what I can tell you. It's all about PR and stories. But this is why this, this is side is not capable of digging itself out of a hole because I don't believe the attitude is there at all with these players. And Jason Ryan's probably done the first right thing he's done. Offer, gone, and he's brought in a guy that will actually scrummage. Let's be positive, Matt Gunners, with us. Doggies are ahead of the Warriors, and this isn't positive for me. It's very positive for you. There is a wooden spoon to fight for. And I'm not looking forward to the rest of well, the season. Remember, I sent you a message through the week. I said we could go for a hardwood, a nice quality hardwood, or we could go for a wilding pine yeah. that we're trying to exterminate yes. from the environment I down would here. Piece I'll, of wood, cut mate. Down, yeah. I'll cut down a contorta, a pinus contorta, go on. and we will whittle with our own knives, with our own multi tools, Martin, <laughs> a thousand spoons. <laughs> and the top a thousand Warriors fans. They can have one after the team and the players get it. I told you weeks ago, right. the doggies are rising. We're scoring points. 10-point victory on the weekend, 36 points. Forget about the opposition. They might have been rubbish. But the point is this. We are winning and the Warriors are not winning. And the beauty of it is we don't have any culture and the Warriors have the best culture in the competition. Hey, look, as and soon as pre-season training starts, Cameron Joyce says otherwise. we're winning. From the day of pre-season training, we're winning, he says.
He says we're winning in the next two years, Mark, is what he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us about your curling, bro, because I know that you're curling. Um, is it indoors or outdoors? I mean, oh, sorry, what a stupid no, question to ask. Outdoors, it's outdoors. Outdoors, Martin, in the Tekapo Ice Skating Rink. Wow. And what a magnificent game. I know every four years people watch it at the Winter Olympics and they go, well, it's a bit of a weird sport and all the rest of it. But there's not a more social sport on the planet. And I've got to tell you, Martin, the Curly Whirlies started first time last year. We had our first foray into curling and we were dead last. We won one game the entire season. This year we were competing for the Mackenzie curling championship title and i've got to tell you what happened because this has got me a bit riled up too we played against a group of older men who were trying to think too sensibly we played round robin we finished first and second we were second they were first we go into the final and it's three all after four ends oh here we go i'd say we can't finish like this if it was a rugby world cup we'd go to extra yeah, time to and then we'd go to oh, kick don't tell we me that tied. they said we, we finished first to... no no we, they we've didn't we've got to finish we've got to finish and one of the blokes looks me dead in the eye and he goes don't be selfish if we take a draw we get one point each and we finish in the same oh. position i said exactly the point i'd rather lose, lose than not exactly than have a draw well, in the final some, you go what are you blokes on about anyway hey. i lost I lost. I lost. We accepted the draw. We finished second. The Curly Whirlies. We had our own um, knitted hats made by one of our members' mothers. And um, we were very proud of our performance. But you know what, Martin? Mm. Why can we have a draw in the final? We needed a result. Congratulations to the old fish heads, whatever they call themselves. <laughs> Dick heads, yeah. But the but Curly Whirlies. Oh, honestly. Curly I just saw it. I, I said, look, yeah, guys. Have a bit of respect for yourself. Are you worried about us? We were last last year and you won and here we are knocking on the door and you won't give us one more rent to try and sneak another point. Very disappointed, but in some ways, you've got to take those little victories, especially when you're down here. Definitely. I know. Thank you, mate. Oh, the Queen's Park Rangers have won it! The Platform. Courtesy of Resurrection Distillery. Let me spell that for you. R-E-S-U-R-R-E-C-T-I-N. On the Facebook page, Resurrection Distillery. Hard-working Kiwi who started his own business, needs support, needs you to jump that Facebook page and have a look at his product, please. Resurrection Distillery. I thank you so much for that.